Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is your first time coming to my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to like, share, subscribe, dislike, unsubscribe, whatever you feel that your spirit is guiding you to do. Um, needless to say, I'm going to do a general overall energy check for the collective, okay? Um, let me start by saying that... Oh, God is putting messengers, prophets, uh, people of God, divine ones, love, loved ones, um, high priestess, divine beings, empresses, all those people called by God to do great things, the healers, right? God is putting us in what I like to call a serious time out because... If you know, then you know, then you know. That's all I'm going to say. If you're vibrating at a frequency really, really high, you're meditating, speaking to the most high, talking to your divine ancestors, allowing your spirit guides, your divine spirit guides to guide you and your holy angels, then you know that you know that you know you know. Okay, so some things need to be left unsaid. Why am I saying that? Because um, we're being pushed to not overexpose people to certain things that can no longer save them. I hope that makes sense, right? Um, I had a dream last night. Let me get into it. I had a dream and it was very, very clear. And it was a man who either was kissing me or kissing somebody else, or maybe I was in the body of the woman. And all of a sudden the scene changed. I don't know if they were about to be intimate or have intercourse, I'm not exactly sure. But um, the, the scene of the dream changed and the man all of a sudden could not breathe. Like literally couldn't breathe. And I saw him like running around, like looking for like an asthma pump. But then at some point I was in the body of the man, okay? So I don't know who this message is for. I know that it's a serious divine warning to somebody because when I got up and this was about three in the morning, if you all know about three in the morning, then you know, then you know, you know, right? So I got up about three in the morning. I started to pray. I was like, Lord, what does this mean? Like, what are you telling me? So I went to my cards because that's the best way for my spirit guys sometimes to communicate with me. Even though I can sit with my intuition, it caught me off guard and I was laboring literally in my chest. Like I could not breathe. And so I really sat down and I thought about just how precious it is to take a deep breath. That is literally your very spirit going in and out of your body. Why? Because it says in the word that I brew, I blew, I brew, you could be brewing. I don't know. I blew my spirit into your body. When, when the Lord blew his breath, when the most high blew his breath into his chosen, his spirit, Right. And so with this person who couldn't breathe, it represented somebody going against the flow of life. Metaphysically, that is what I got, okay? So I'm gonna get into the message. I had called a friend just to kind of go over it um, because it was so clear. And to me, now that I'm looking back at that dream in hindsight, um, I kind of feel like somebody is saying, I can't breathe. I can't breathe either without a lover. I can't live. Um, I don't know if somebody was taking their last breath. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay. Um, the song that says, uh, breathe with no air. What's the song by Jordan Sparks? How am I supposed to breathe with no air? no air, no air. And it represented really somebody that shared the same soul as somebody, you know, um, needless to say, let's get into the cards. Okay. If you, if you have any interpretations or anything that you'd like to add, um, please do so in the comments, but that just was a very, uh, specific dream for somebody. So we have the eight of pentacles, which is toil and labor. We have the hangman, which is seeing things from a different perspective. And we have uh, the Ace of Swords. So when this comes out first, this is Holy Spirit telling me to prepare people for the truth that's about to come. Like this is truth that's about to come in this particular reading, okay? Toil and labor is working, working nonstop. The hangman is Piscean energy, represents seeing things from a different perspective. I think God is putting certain people in time out. Um I've also been advised to kind of be mindful of certain readings and how I 
do those readings. And so you're going to see a lot of changes um, that could bring new people that could make people go away. It doesn't matter because this is a season of separation. We're in a really serious hour and I hope you hear that in my voice. Okay. Needless to say, let's get into the reading. Holy Spirit, show us exactly what we need to see. Okay. Yeah. Somebody looking to go in a different direction, heavy on the uh, Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces energy. Um, this also represents intuition. Something's intuitively nudging and or pulling at you to go towards a new direction. Spirit is saying, go, go. Like, what more do you need? Go. The time is at hand. The hour is at hand because this is about your salvation. This is about your spiritual path. This is about your soul and you moving forward. I cannot make it up. Okay. So a lot of these messages are going to be very, very, um, filtered, if you will. I'm also going to create a group where I can be a little bit more private with people and I'll make it very, very affordable, just like I do with my prayers. Um, shout out to the people that have sent more than enough. Like you're just a blessing. I've taken that money and bought candles for other people. So your, your tithe is actually helping other people get prayer candles. Okay. So I really appreciate that. Thank you more than enough. Okay. Um, this was a specific story. So I really want to find out what this dream was about. When I pulled the cards last night, it showed a lover that was in deep regret um, about losing his divine soulmate. He may have done uh, witchcraft or something like that, that he was, was, was in deep regret about either to hold her back or, or something. And it was like it was reversed. And in the dream, it was literally him taking his last breath. Um, it was like, I don't know, somebody, some, something happened. I don't know. Again, I am just like, it was so clear and, and, and I don't dream that often. So when I do, I really pay attention to it. Okay. So the three of swords represents the heart. I just want to give this a moment. Okay. Be mindful of breathing, be mindful of breathing life into your heart. Ask God to bless your heart so that you do all things with pure intentions so that you're clear about everything that you're doing to help the collective, okay? We're in a very serious time. Look at the world. Look at what's going on. You can't even predict your weather. That's in Revelations. But we're not going to get into that right now. We're just going to stay focused. I hope that you're doing your meditation. The high priestess, okay? So clearly a water sign, okay? Clearly a water sign, clearly a fire sign, because I'm asking about this dream, okay? Now, when I pulled the cards last night, it showed me the lovers. It showed me a breakup. It showed me somebody in deep regret, somebody that had done black magic. The magician card kept coming up in reverse um, or wishing ill on this particular woman. This man was because he was upset that he lost her and he really wanted to kind of bind her path. But she was she was chosen. OK, so it came back in the worst way. It came back in a way that he could not have anticipated. OK. Um, the seven of cups uh, in this particular spread is, is options, but it also, there's a duality here where I see illusions, illusions, right? Three of pentacles, um, accompanied with the seven of cups is definitely a third party situation. Um, fire sign ener energy, again, a masculine can embody the queen of wands, or maybe this person had a choice between two people, two women. I don't know, but it was very, very clear. Emperor is here. Aries at the bottom of the deck. Needless to say, you move forward. Okay. And my two of swords, I just straightened all my cards out. My two of swords was upside down. So maybe this person was indecisive and didn't know who to choose and ended up choosing the wrong person. Somebody walked away though. Somebody went in another direction based on their instincts, their intuition, and they decided to flee the situation because the divine was saying, you know what, that's it. Okay. And I'm gonna be honest with you, whoever that energy is, they do not want this story to get out at all. Okay. At all. But Spirit is saying this is the time for revelation. This is the time for transparency. All things that are done in the dark will come to the light. That's just what it is. Show me more, Holy Spirit, about this situation, this dream. Yeah, this person was very, very toxic. This person had a choice between two lovers, okay? Put this divine being, this high priestess, this queen of cups, somebody with a lot of deep affection for them, definitely a fire sign, okay? Not trying to dog out the fire signs, but lately... It's just been what it is. And this story just keeps coming up. So I'm, I'm like, you know, wow. Um, needless to say, okay, um, the devil is here. So this, this represents addictions for me in this particular spread, toxicity, um, 
things behind the scenes that maybe you didn't realize were going on, but intuitively you felt them, right? Holy Spirit, show us what else we need to see, divine ancestors. Archangel Michael, help me. Yeah, this person's in deep, deep regret. This person could be having some health issues mentally, like really not able to move forward. This accompanied with what I've done. What have I done? This is what I feel. What have I done? You know, I should have just healed. I should have just healed. But this person continued to stay in this broken heart energy. You could have felt this energetically if you're dealing with a twin, a soulmate. You could have felt this maybe thinking, oh, you know, God, what's wrong with me? Is there something wrong with my health? No. Unfortunately, not even unfortunately. Well, there's a duality in that. Unfortunately, you share the same soul with a dark, a dark twin, an evil twin. OK, so you were feeling some of that energetically. You were feeling some of that in your body. Um, this person could have, you know, married you for money initially. I don't know if you guys uh, know the movie Belly. Remember when DMX went in and he was supposed to uh, scam the minister and then he ended up getting saved and coming to God. <laughs> he went in studying about God and got out of character and forgot that he was a killer and a, a natural born assassin and ended up falling in love with God. This is what I feel here. This is, this is what I feel. This person went in and was like marrying either for money. This is the backstory. Okay. Went in marrying for money, um, had a plan, had a plot, had a scheme. I'm, I'm getting ideas like power you know like reality shows or something like that like what did you think was gonna happen like this person really had a plan and then when they got with this divine person this divine um woman they realized that whoa you know this person really is of god i hear this person saying oh this will be easy it'll be like taking candy from a baby like this is how arrogant this person was in their toxicity right um needless to say this was all exposed and they left with a warning from the most high, you know, again, I keep saying God is hiding, was hiding the chosen in plain sight. Now everything's being exposed and people are like, oh, that was an earth angel. Oh my God. That was a prophet. That was a messenger. Oh my God. What am I going to do? Right? So, um, let's get back to the story. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, show us more Holy Spirit. Cause I saw this clear. Clear, clear, clear. Yeah, this person wants to sail to calmer waters with you. This person could be literally kissing death in the faith. In the oh, I cannot make it up. Kissing, I said death in the faith. <sighs> Maybe they have faith in death that you were gonna die. I don't know. All of this came up in reverse, and I'm just gonna take it as is. Death came up in reverse, just as I said, death, faith in death. I meant to say facing death. It came up in reverse. <sighs> this person has lost all spiritual protection. I don't know what you have to do for God to literally turn a deaf ear. But I pray for me and you that this, that never happens. That if you've done anything that you feel is wrong, you just say, God, you know what? Search me. Whatever it is, take it out. This person has lost everything, <clears throat> including their soul, spirit is saying. This is a king of swords. This is a very nasty, bitter, unwilling to heal, unwilling to look itself, unwilling to go within kind of energy unwilling to admit faults, very narcissistic, egotistic, nasty, bitter, spoke very nasty things over you, the people you love, internally, mentally, quietly, out loud. This person was very, very nasty on purpose, Spirit is saying, right? And so here you are, highly spiritually protected. You've gone on with your life and now this person is completely weighed down, okay? I mean, this story really, really shook me because I've never had someone come that close in a dream. And I woke up from the dream, like, <gasps> like, you know, like looking for an asthma pump, like this person was looking for, I don't know if they had asthma or maybe they just felt like they could not breathe. And maybe they were reaching for an asthma pump that was there that belonged to somebody else is what I got the feeling of, but whatever it was, they couldn't breathe. 
that's almost like being uh, smothered by your sins. It's like somebody that didn't trust the flow of life and they wanted to play God. Thank you, spirit. They wanted to play God. They wanted to, they wanted to control your life only to realize that you were the gift. Wow. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Didn't I tell you? You were the star. You're one of God's favorites. You're one of God's favorites. This person is praying not to burn in hell. And I'm being honest with y'all. I don't know if this person passed last night, if you're going to hear about it. I don't know if they're currently passed. I don't know. You know, this is the thing with our gifts. You know, not everything the divine allows us to see. Our gifts can only go so far. We have to ask permission for what it is we see and what it is that we're supposed to translate, right? Like seriously, this lover, whoever this love, yeah, this person is sick. This person is not well, but this is due to something that they did. This is a self-imposed sickness, self-imposed spiritual jail and hell. This is something that they did <clears throat> to stop somebody. They spy on you nonstop, but it's quite obsessive, compulsive behavior, stalking nature. Yes. This person is bound to what they've done. Whew. Take a deep breath and thank God that you can fill your lungs with air. It's the little things. I'm telling you, if you can wiggle your toe, if you can blink your eyes, you better thank God. It's somebody somewhere that wishes that they could blink their toe. I mean, blink their toe, <laughs> blink their eyes, <clears throat> wiggle their toes and take a deep breath. You understand what I'm saying? I can't make this stuff up. This person had a lot of difficulty moving forward. This is my Cancerian energy. Ooh, a company with the Eight of Swords could represent cancer. But cancer energetically represents um, built up resentment and hatred in the body. So the body begins to eat away at itself. I can't make it up. I didn't even see the magician down here. Black magic. It's not in reverse this time, but with death being in reverse and the magician card being here, the eight of swords and the chariot, black magic and the devil all day long. Like, let's not even play with it. Let's just put this over here. Like, seriously, this is no joke. So help me God. Emperor, this person was very controlling. They wanted to control you, dominate you, control your destiny, control your mind, shut your mouth, uh, make you sick, pull the strings. They wanted to be the puppet master. Two of swords is here. Now this person is literally being taunted and haunted by these spirits. If they, if they're even still alive, something happened deep. If not, they don't have that much longer to, to be here. Could be two days, two weeks, eight days, eight weeks. I don't know. Three days, three weeks. These are the numbers that I'm getting. You could feel a lot of things lifting up off of you energetically, along with us going through an ascension. Um... Yeah, the Hierophant. Yeah, let me tell you something. This was karma. This person thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High, okay? It's going to make me cry <sighs> because their energy is so powerful. It's so strong. They're under judgment by the Most High. The higher ups have interceded. The divine is now saying, you know what? Time's up. That's it. They're under spiritual judgment in that moment when you take your last breath, right? And you're standing before the most high, the creator of all things. You now have to go over your life. You have to go over your life. And when you've been in this energy, you know, all the time, refusing to heal, God sent people into this person's life, not just this high priestess, but God sent people into this person's life. There's crows squawking outside of my window. That's a sign of death to come in this particular squawk or this particular message, right? So yeah, 
So here's somebody refusing to heal. This also represents addictions to me. Um, sex addiction, addicted to power. This person could have overindulged in some things that maybe I can't see. Pills, powder. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Show us what else we need to see, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is... I, I'm sorry to have to hit y'all with this story, but I got to be obedient. Yeah, this person was an in and out energy. Heavy on the fire sign, heavy on the water. They either walked away from you and abandoned you. Spirit is saying, yeah, they walked away from you and abandoned you. But I'm getting the impression that they did it in such a way that they were still in a household with you. You know, um, they were in and out energy. It's like you share, you could have been married to this person or maybe you all just said, this is my husband, this is my wife, you know, um, without being married. I don't know. You know, you tell the story, you know the story. Um, Knight of Wands is very in and out energy, non-committal um, when it's accompanied in this particular deck. And the Eight of Cups is either um, them. I get the feeling that they abandoned you while they were with you. It's almost like being in the same house with you, but they walked away from you, but they're still physically there. They're still coming there, right? And maybe you literally walked away in real life. Like, I'm tired of this. Maybe they came home and you just weren't there and you just were like, you know what? That's it. Yeah, new beginning. Communication is coming in. This does not always mean in the physical. This could mean in the 3D, this person is intuitively, instinctually trying to reach out to you. Okay, um, they want to make amends. They're being pushed to, um, Spirit says, no. <laughs> I don't know what that, I know what it means, but I'm trying to let y'all decide on what y'all want to decide on. Yeah, Spirit is saying through this reading, things are being illuminated. The sun represents joy and happiness, but here this is the light in the situation. The sun is shining on all of this to reveal what exactly it is. This person's in heavy, heavy, heavy regret. Serious regret, crying out to the most high for another chance because they wanted to win at all costs. This is very narcissistic, very egotistic, very slightly sociopathic vibes. And I'm gonna be 100% honest. I feel like this person wanted to win at all costs. I can't even say that at some point it was about them appreciating who you were. It was them being offended by the fact that they couldn't affect your life because they had done this a lot of times before. Okay. Yeah. They did things to children. Um, they wanted to stop money. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, this was you in the situation, whoever you are strong. This person would breadcrumb you. Page of Pentacles is a little bitty baby offer. It also represents good news about money. But in this particular spread, this person was definitely breadcrumbing you. This person was breadcrumbing you. Um, you had to be strong at times you didn't want to be. You were dealing with a spiritual assassin, somebody very high ranked in whatever demonic group they were from that they kept from you. I'm seeing secret handshakes, secret society kind of you know, red hoods, you know what I mean? But I'm seeing the higher ups also being represented here too, because this group was like a very powerful group spiritually, but at the same time, it's like one of them went bad. One of them abused their power. I'm not going to say it was a, a Masonic group that was just all bad, but one of them abused their power. One of them understood the secrets and one of them abused their power. And you're also going through a serious ascension. Okay. So watch the pressure around your head, uh, just everything. All I can tell you is put something natural in your body so that you can try to get through this ascension, okay? Because you're shedding skin. I just That just came out of nowhere in the middle of the air, out of the air, air, air for somebody. Yeah, I told you this was a lover. Yeah, they could have had... Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, they did this to an empress, somebody that was absolutely beautiful, divine, and devoted, um, probably to a fault, too kind to a fault. Yeah, this person was, there was definitely somebody interceding on, be, on behalf of this person. 
family member, older woman, godmother, somebody, somebody was pulling the strings. So this person could have been under heavy spell work as well. But Spirit is saying at some point they knew exactly what they were doing and they were given an opportunity to stop. And this is why they're there. I just keep hearing, how am I supposed to breathe with no air? Yeah. Three of Cups. There was always something in the middle that you couldn't feel or see. This is a very slow moving energy. But in the sense that this person was very cocky as your lover. Okay. This, very, this person was very, very cocky. Like this was a slow moving energy. Like Psh, you ain't going nowhere. I'll be back. But in the meantime, I'm going to drive your whole life crazy. I'm going to be in and out. I'm going to go and sleep with the streets. I'll be for the streets. I'll sleep with everybody, you know, and you're like, wait a minute. I've already had to break soul ties from laying down with you. I'm the high priestess. I can't allow you back into my body. You know, I can't allow you like this person was like, um, you know, they thought they were just going to run around, do whatever. You know, after you left, they were offended. Like, how dare you leave and not allow me to beat you up and drag you through hell? You know what I mean? Like when you were following the most high, it's like, yeah, okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> right. This person was pulling the strings behind the scenes, very sneaky and deceptive. I'm surprised the seven of swords hasn't come out as of yet. This person was very deceptive, deceptive, um, sneaky. They didn't realize how much they cared until they truly realized that you were never coming back. This person did witchcraft over and over and over and over and over. Come to me spells, breakup spells. Whenever new lovers would come in your life, something was there. I'm talking powerful, powerful energy. They wanted to stay tied to you. Spirit is saying tied at the hip. Throat chakra is tickling me, okay? I'm going to get this message out by way of the Holy Spirit. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person was a breadcrumber. They gave you just enough to keep you hanging on. This person that was behind the scenes, maybe controlling them or advising them was really the person that was doing something to them. Okay. Whoever this queen of swords was, because there's a king of swords in reverse, which is a real nasty, funky, dirty energy. Yeah. This is somebody from your past, somebody that you, yeah, I just keep hearing communication coming in after betrayal. Holy spirit, please. And thank you. Give us one more card for the collective. Holy Spirit, please, divine ancestors, Archangel Michael, please. I said one, but I, I took two. This person was very, very immature, very in and out with their wand. Spirit say this person was for the streets, honey. This person could have called it STD. Mm, six of Pentacles, four. Yeah, they could have been paying for sex, maybe with prostitutes or you know, like Spirit is saying, if you really knew what was going on, which you do, this is just confirmation. Um, you'd be disgusted. This person could have slept with men and women. This person had an insatiable desire for sex and power. They were so good at cloaking themselves in uh, beauty spells. And when I mean beauty spells for a man, I mean like you look at them and you're like, oh my God, he's so handsome. You know, and then when it wears off, you're like, oh, what it was I thinking? You can really see him like really, truly, right? The veil had been lifted. This person, this person, yeah, could have called it STD behind paying somebody for sex yeah something that they can't get rid of spirit says you're protected i'm getting a no you were wondering if something was attached to your body or if you caught whatever they caught spirit is saying no you're protected this happened after you yeah no you don't have anything this person was reckless after they left you. I'm going to pull from my other deck, y'all, just to confirm these major arcanas on the board. Okay. Holy Spirit, bless my deck, please. Most high, channel the message for the collective. Holy Spirit, please give us your presence. Fill the room. Give us messages for the collective. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, this person, yeah was supposed to really be on a good path with you. They chose, they chose not to heal. That's all I'm hearing is that they chose not to heal. That breathing was like, almost like, I don't know if when I felt that laboring and breathing in my dream, it was like somebody taking their last breath, death. That's what it felt like, yeah. You're the queen of swords on here. It's machete, but you cut off this situation. 
somebody convinced this person that you weren't divine because they had been controlling them for a really, really long time. This is a lot of people's stories because the spirit and the entity is the same. It's a nasty, ugly spirit running rampant and it's attacking a lot of divine masculines, you know, at a time that they really don't have any more. Yeah, this person could have wished uh, chaos, confusion spells on you, something to delay your intellect so you wouldn't be as intelligent as you sound or be or whatever. They didn't want that. You, you offended them on an intellectual level. They wanted to dumb you down, right? Let me just see what I got here. Yeah, the moon. Okay. Again, the queen of swords is here. I can't shuffle these. They're huge. I got to do the best that I can. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Spirit, show us what we need to see. Give me the cards that I need for the collective. Okay, let me try it this way. Because these are big. That's why I don't pull from them. Oop. This is why I don't pull from them that often. Archangel Michael, show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see. Just confirm these cards on the board for the collective divine ancestors. Please and thank you. Show us, Holy Spirit. We need your help. We need your help. Ooh, this card wanted to come out, so I'm going to take it. Yeah. This person shared a home with you. They were supposed to be with you. <clears throat> they were in the dark for a really long time. The unhealed heart is what they hid from you. And they did not, they did not want to uh, see you have this with anybody else. It's almost like somebody refusing to heal, refusing to accept the hand of God, but at the same time didn't want you to be happy. So you could have lost several relationships behind this person. Wondering why, yeah, this is all being illuminated. This person wants to come to calmer waters with you, okay? Ten of Cups is here, the Sun, and the Six of Pentacles. I mean, the Four of Pentacles. This person was really trying to hold you back from joy. Like, they didn't want you to have no joy, no happiness, no nothing, if it didn't, if it didn't have to do with them, okay? Could have an initial by the name of B. I don't even know why that's on my card. B, S, N. I don't even know what that's about. I hardly use these cards. Um, yeah, they wanted to hold, hold on to you. Normally in a normal situation, this would be you holding on to your money, being frugal. This is somebody that wanted to hold on to you, stop you from joy, stop you from love, to not have your ten of cups with somebody that was better suited for you very selfish energy so i'm going to end the reading there um yeah continue to stay in the light continue to just keep your hands clean like i said if you've done anything wrong if anything's um that you want god to forgive you for please just do it but don't don't return to it some of these situations have ended. Do not go back, Spirit is saying. I hear it very, very clearly. Do not return back to this person. Like, this is the karma. And it's very sad because my heart went out to the person because that's just who we are as light workers. You know, even though this person did a whole bunch of bad stuff, it was hard to watch. Because in the dream, they were with somebody or maybe they were with a woman that just literally snatched their soul out. It was like the kiss of death. That's what I felt. They kissed, like I felt the kiss and and it was, and then I realized, oh, this isn't me. I'm feeling this through somebody else's body. Like, I'm like, what's going on in the dream, right? Because you know, I'm a spiritual gangster. So I'm like, huh? I start calling on the Lord in the dreams. Holy Spirit, help me. What's going on? This person could not breathe. They could not breathe. It was like, you're their lifeline and they, they're, they're wow, I don't know. Anyway. Needless to say, this is the video. Wherever you are on the planet, I love you for free. I promise that I do. Um, all my information is in the description box. If you want to send a love donation, if you can't, you just want prayer, just comment and I'll put you under a candle. I'll pray for you. You don't have to tell me what it is. You don't have to put that in a public setting or a comment. I will know intuitively what needs prayer. Um, just submit your name and then, you know, we just kind of go from there. We ask the Most High just to bless us and cover us, okay? So I hope you're having a wonderful day. Until the next video, peace be with you.